Well, justice really, and this goes all the way back to Aristotle in ancient Athens, justice is giving people what they deserve, giving people their due. The real controversies arise, of course, when we come to figuring out who deserves what and why. That's when we start arguing about rights, yeah. about equality and inequality, and about what we owe one another as citizens. We noticed that sometimes we were tempted to locate the morality of an act and the consequences in the results, in the state of the world that it brought about. And we call this consequentialist moral reason. Greed is a vice, a bad way of being, especially when it makes people oblivious to the suffering of others. We are outraged when people get things they don't deserve. Greed that preys on human misery, we think, should be punished, not rewarded. And yet we worry when judgments about virtue find their way into law. Perhaps some of you will think that I am not being serious, but I assure you that I am going to tell you the whole truth. I have gained this reputation from nothing more or less than a kind of wisdom. It is not wisdom that enables people to do things, but rather a kind of instinct or inspiration. That leaves us with another question to investigate. Why does agreement to a certain procedure, even a fair procedure, justify whatever result flows from the operation of that procedure? 